Welcome to episode 11 of Think Like a Predator. I am Feather214, but you can call me Feather. And this is my ongoing tutorial series for Predator Hunting Grounds, where I take a hunting match that I've completed and recorded as the Predator and will narrate the game as I explain my strategies along the way. So... game has started, I've made my way to about the center of the map before using target isolation. I went ahead and hit target isolation and the fire team is not showing up at all. That means they probably all are covered in mud. Um, that's okay. That's actually why I used to prefer my main or the predator that I usually would main before <laughs> falling in love with the exiled predator which I'm using right now um, because the hunter tracker specialization predator uh, can still find them with target ISO but I don't have that anymore but that is all right I've learned how to find the fire team without it now um, just follow the sound blips. I've done that. And now it's led me here into the village. I find my first fire team member. I'm gonna poke him with some arrows. I like to uh, test out the fire team in the beginning. It looked like he was by himself, but like I said, I just showed up. I don't know that for sure, so. I am getting a feel for things. His teammate comes in here. I'm gonna poke him with some arrows. See what they do. They just kind of run away. They can freak out a little bit. They ran around to this side of the building, so I jumped on the next building. And this guy has his minigun out, but he still doesn't know where I am. He's He's just kind of waiting for me to leap and show up. He's <laughs> he doesn't know where to look. I'm pretty sure I've already shot him three times. So he's probably healed himself already, but one more shot. And yeah, one more shot takes him down. I'm going to go for that claim. Like I've always said, do whatever it takes to get your first claim. Early is always good. The earlier, the better, in my opinion. But you also don't ever want to rush yourself. That was a really clean claim. Really glad. Great way to start off any match. I, I have lost no health. We have a claim. I'm gonna keep harassing these guys. I feel like this guy out in the open is just asking to be shot. I missed my first one though probably gave me away. I think I get shot at here. No. They didn't know where I was yet. Surprisingly. Guy's muddying himself up under the bridge, but I already knew where he was. I downed him. I didn't know for sure if I downed him, which is why I kind of dipped out and dipped back in, just to see if he was actually down. If I had known, I would have claimed him. But I jumped away to avoid their fire, and then I jumped right back in, thinking they probably weren't expecting me to just to do that, to jump right back in. And, uh, I think it paid off. That whole little sc scuffle cost me some health, but uh, I've got two claims. We've got ten minutes left in the match, and I haven't even healed myself yet, so... Now would be an okay time to do it, but I know that with two fire team members down, the pressure's on for them uh, to revive their players, which means the pressure's on for me to keep keep going at them unless I want to let them bring back their teammates, which I don't. So, yeah, I'm going in. I don't want them to bring anybody back. I got my third claim. There's one guy left. 
If he takes down all my health, that's okay. I'll just go into second wind. So it's totally worth the risk just pushing here on one guy. Because this could be the end of the game. And sure enough, I take down his health before the fire team came back. So there it is. I guess know when to be aggressive. I, I think that was a good time for me to do that. It was worth it. Think Like a Predator episode 11. And the undefeated winning streak stays alive with my exiled predator. If you like these, consider liking, subscribing. I'll catch you next time.